morning, everyone, and welcome to what is now Myasco College's 10th online virtual open event since spring 2020 when COVID first arrived on the scene. My name's Stuart Davidson, and normally at the Preston Centre, I'd be welcoming you into the lecture theatre for a 20-minute introductory talk and to explain more about college life and hopefully answer some of the questions that you might have. As it is, though, I'm doing this from home yet again. It's 13 months now since our last on-campus event, and we had been hopeful that we'd be able to start them again in the new year. But with the rising COVID transmission rates over Christmas and then the spring lockdown restrictions, it just hasn't been an option to be bringing larger groups of visitors on campus to meet tutors and look around the facilities, whilst also trying to ensure that we keep our students, staff and new visitors safe. So hopefully we'll be able to restart our normal advice sessions at some point soon, or at least offer campus show rounds to individual family groups and welcome you back to have a better look around, experience the fantastic grounds and facilities and get a flavour for what we call the Myasco magic. It's that friendly atmosphere around our campuses that students, parents and visitors so often mention. Students have settled in brilliantly to campus life since they started in September, then went into lockdown after Christmas and returned back to campus just before Easter. They've adjusted well to the various one-way systems, classroom changes, timetable adjustments and cleaning and safety procedures that we've introduced. It was a record year for enrolments this last year and applications are now open for 2021 entry for all our courses. After this session we'll be breaking out to the individual subject departments and centres so you can ask any questions and learn more about the activities within each of our teaching teams. Rather than being in physical classrooms as normal, the locations for these online Zoom and Skype and email and Facebook sessions are published here online. And if you've got any further questions, please use the live chat facility on the home page of the college website and our advisors will be here throughout the morning to answer your questions and guide you around. So let's make a start. I'm conscious that we've got visitors of all ages here today, so I'll try to keep this welcome as generic as possible and cover as much as we can in the time that we've got. As a start, I want to focus on what I feel really makes Myasco stand out, and it's nothing too fancy or too clever. There's a million great things about Myasco, but it's three really simple and straightforward things that I'll touch on here that, to me, summarise the college so well. Firstly, and above all, it's students' enjoyment and happiness on their course. We want you to have a fantastic time while you're studying with us, we want you to make friends and memories that will last long after you've left our college or university centre and we'll do whatever it takes to ensure you have a great experience while you're here. Secondly, it's about our tutors providing you with the sort of enrichment activities, work experience opportunities and industry visits that are going to make employers think, wow, how on earth have they had the opportunity to go there, do that work with that sort of equipment, I need to get them in for an interview, I need to find out more about them. And thirdly, it's about our support teams and teaching teams coming together to ensure that A, you succeed on your course, but B, we help kickstart you to that next level of study or job within your chosen industry. I'll touch more on these concepts as we work through the presentation, but to put the wow factor element into some context, We'd normally play a rather cool little TV commercial at our open mornings as people are entering the lecture theatre and we'll put the YouTube link up here in the bio which tells the story of our Level 3, A-level equivalent, football studies students a few years ago now working in partnership with Nike heading off on the England team coach to a non-league ground in Manchester to learn more about the business side of the sports industry as they filmed a promotional video to advertise Nike's search for a grassroots football star. What they didn't realise ambassador and ex-England and Man United player Rio Ferdinand was also attending and selected one of those students, Joe Bunny, to progress to the next stage of the night competition. Now through the student's ability and the college's reputation and success and the work of our tutors and coaches and this sort of exposure, it helped get the likes of Joe and Alex Kenyon and others that appear in the video their breaks into the professional game. So keep an eye on these guys once football starts normally in the autumn as they look to further their careers up the football pyramid. People often think of Myasco as being a fairly new college for very much as a centre of excellence of all things agricultural. We're just coming to the end of our 125th anniversary celebrations this year and you can read more about the history of the college in our Celebrating Success brochure at the link here. 
Agriculture is still a huge part of college life, and I think it's really brought it home to people, as we've all frantically tried to do our online shopping during the past few months, how vitally important a sector it really is to everyday life. We've invested more than £5 million in our innovative food and farming innovation and technology centre on the college farm, ensuring that our students are at the forefront of research into food security, food innovation, and how we feed an ever-increasing global population. But 125 years on, agriculture has morphed into 25 different subject areas, to ecology, conservation, countryside studies, gamekeeping and habitat management, to animal studies, veterinary nursing, equestrianism, zoology and farriery, to agricultural engineering, motorsports, blacksmithing and construction plant, to horticulture, woodland management, floristry, garden design, landscaping and sports pitch maintenance, and to sport, where recently we were effectively crowned one of the most successful sports colleges in the country, winning 42 different trophies and league titles across our football, rugby, cricket, golf, basketball and netball academies. We've six Myasco centres across the North West. All our courses and all our degree courses are taught at the Preston campus, as we call it, at Billsborough between Garstang and Preston. But various of our school leaver courses are also taught at our centres in Whitton Park, Blackburn, Croxteth Park, Liverpool, Walton Hall, Warrington and the Emirates Old Trafford Cricket Centre in Manchester. Have a look on the website or in the prospectus and you might find a centre closer to your home. There's no right or wrong centre to study at, so you choose which is best for you. I'll touch on college transport in a few minutes. We've around 5,000 students in total. Around half of those are studying what we'd call school leaver courses. Mostly students who join us after year 11 at school, or maybe have started A-levels or a college elsewhere and not settled. But there aren't any age restrictions on any of our courses. So whether you're coming out of the police force or army, or taking early retirement, being made redundant, or just fancy a career change, you're just as welcome as anyone else. One of the government's big focuses at the moment is on apprenticeships, or traineeships, and we offer apprenticeships subjects. So if you feel you don't want to do a traditional full-time college course, head over this morning to join Lee in our apprenticeships team for their online Zoom presentation and find out more about how we work with employers to source vacancies, how we can match your skills and interests to that vacancy and how our work-based assessors then come out to the workplace to provide training and assessment alongside your employer. Another colleague, Andrea, is also doing a session about our traineeships programmes, the first rung of the ladder effectively prior to starting an apprenticeship, so catch up with her for that. Myasco is also a university centre as well as a college. We were granted university centre status by Privy Council a few years ago, but have worked closely with the University of Central Lancashire for around 25 years now. They validate the wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate degrees that we offer across all our subject areas. Myasco students enrol as UCLan students, as well as Myasco students, so you can effectively use the vast majority of the academic and social facilities at the UCLan campus in Preston, as well as all the facilities here at our own Myasco campus. We also have close links with the University of Lancaster and the University of Cumbria, who have a base in Lancaster too, so there's quite a hive of activity here in the Northwest for degree students. We also have quite a unique 14 to 16 programme, as we call it. That's where pupils at school or home educated pupils can come to college, usually one or occasionally two days each week, to study a vocational subject alongside their core GCSEs at school. Or for homeschooled pupils, the option to study a combination of maths, English and science GCSEs. And Laura, our 14 to 16 coordinator, will be available today to discuss that programme further. Finally, we offer a range of around 250 adult short courses. That's anything from beginners floristry workshops and beekeeping classes to landscape gardening qualifications and training to cover dog walking and pet sitting legislation, things like that. Click on the adult learners tab on the website for more information about them all. New start dates are currently being scheduled for many of these for summer and autumn starts. It'd be wonderful to be able to showcase each of our campuses today. Even after all the recent wet weather, they're all looking fantastic. It'd be wonderful to be able to showcase each of our campuses today. 
Even after all the recent wet weather, they're all looking fantastic, particularly the award-winning gardens at our Preston campus and the gardens at Walton Hall and in Croxteth Park, Liverpool. But in the meantime, rest assured that we've spent more than £35 million in the last few years, ensuring that each of our centres has the facilities, resources and infrastructure to provide sector-leading learning opportunities. So many ways. Firstly, and especially at the Preston campus, we're a huge, green, leafy Parkland campus, so different from most other colleges. It's a very relaxed campus and a very safe campus. Students are obviously physically safe, but we also have a zero tolerance policy towards any types of behaviour, banter or online activity that might not be well received by other students within a group. If I go back to my very first point about Myasco, we want to ensure that you have an enjoyable and happy time studying with us. Many of our subjects are quite unique, especially here in the North West. So another great thing about Myasco is that all of our students make a real conscious effort to study with us. And more often than not, what they want to study is already a hobby or real interest for them. From a parent's perspective, fast forward one or two years down the line and that dedication and desire really pays off. Have a look on the website for our news article from the 8th of April, where we highlight our successes in the government's recently published achievement tables. We're very proud to have pass rates well in excess of 90% to be in the top three specialist land-based colleges in the UK and for our Croxteth Centre to be number one college in Liverpool for student achievement. Have a look at our inspection reports too. Our most recent Ofsted inspection report and our higher education QAA report highlight many of the great things about studying at Myasco. One of those is that Myasco is a very friendly campus. That's something that comes out time and time again from visitors. And keep following each of our departments on social media to get a flavour for some of those wow factor experiences that students get involved with, as well as the things that students are saying about their time here at college. Also keep an eye on the activities of our students' union, the MSU, who organise a whole range of social activities at each of our centres. We're very proud of our achievement rates, but we're even more proud that we're a fully inclusive college. Opportunities for all to succeed is the key message in our strap line, so please do let us know about any additional learning support requirements that you might have. Sometimes people tell me that they were reluctant to tick the box on the application form about learning support as it might somehow jeopardise their application. But nothing could be further from the truth. We're here to support students with dyslexia, dyspraxia, Asperger's, autism, visual impairments, hearing difficulties, whatever it might be. And the sooner we know about your support requirements, the sooner we can try to get that support in place for you. Karen from our inclusive learning team is available this morning to so catch up with her to have a chat about your individual needs. Just thought it was worth taking a minute or two to cover some of the questions we often get asked at careers events and school presentations and hopefully answer some of those for you. People often think that because our subjects are different, we're a bit like a private school and people have to pay a lot to come here. For the vast majority of students joining us from school, your tuition fees are paid for by the government, just like any other college or sixth form. We also have a range of bursaries available, depending upon family income, to help with things like travel and other college-related costs. You can chat with staff from our finance team later this morning about these, or download the relevant leaflets from the fees and finance pages of the website. For our degree courses, we mirror the University of Central Lancashire's fee structure for most of our courses, again with a series of bursaries and scholarships available. Transport is going to be an important issue for many of our students, which is why at the Preston Centre we have seven daily bus routes coming into college, covering Burnley, Blackburn and Accrington, Clitheroe and the Ribble Valley, Lancaster and Morecambe, Blackpool, Fleetwood and the Fylde Coast, Chorley and South Ribble, and shuttle services connecting Preston bus and train stations. We also have free parking on campus and shuttle services during the day and a college day that starts at 9.30am. Again, there's more information about transport on the website and also for our other centres. And our finance team can advise you on costs of weekly, termly and annual passes. Accommodation on site is something you might also want to consider if you're thinking about studying at our Preston campus. We've got 20 different halls of residence for around 700 students. With a choice of fully catered or self-catered options, single or shared rooms, five days a week or seven days a week. 
Again, catch up with our accommodation team later and they can tell you more about the various packages that are available, as well as the support, guidance and safeguarding in place for our residential students. Finally in this section, applying to Myasco. For our school leaver courses, the fastest way of doing so is via the website. Each fact sheet has an apply here button next to it, which takes you to our online application system. We always recommend applying for the level of course where the entry requirements most closely match your anticipated GCSE results. So if you're looking at getting four or five or more GCSEs at four to nine or A to C as it was, it would be the level three suite of courses. Don't worry though, if you don't do as well as you expected when you get your GCSE results, and don't forget that this is going to be a slightly strange year with no actual exams taking place, we're not going to abandon you. We'll simply recommend perhaps moving down a level or assessing your work during the first 42 days of college to make sure you're on the correct course, you're enjoying it and coping well with the work. People do often ask, what should I do if I haven't yet decided which subject I want to study? Well, feel free to add, for example, both equine studies and animal studies to your basket, or football and motorsports, and then decide near the time which one you want to take further. This year is already looking to be a bumper year for applications, so please do try to apply as soon as possible if you are wanting to start this September. We're still processing applications as soon as they arrive with us, despite our admissions team still all working remotely from home at the moment. So please bear with us if it does just take a slight bit longer to send out a formal offer of a place. For all our full-time degree courses, most applications are made by the UCAS University's application system, and all our courses can be found on there under our University Centre Myasco Institution, code M99. Applications for all our part-time degree courses and our adult skills courses can be made online through the Myasco College website, and all our current apprenticeship vacancies are listed on there too. At the end of the day though, we're very proud to be a vocational college. We're here to help get students jobs in their chosen industries. We build our curriculum in partnership with industry to make sure you're studying the most relevant modules to help kickstart your career. So whether it's our floristry tutors bringing back the latest design trends for the British Floristry Association Congress, where once again we won Training Provider of the Year accolade, or our motorsport students travelling across Europe maintaining the WRC Academy Ford Fiesta R2 race cars, we'll make sure you get your fair share of work experience. We regularly get former students coming back to college appreciative of their time at Myasco to help train and recruit the next generation. So, for example, PGA European Tour golfer Chris Hansen stresses the importance of physical resilience and mental toughness when he comes back to talk about life as a golf professional. Phil Wayne, here in the bluey white shirt, most recently Operations Director at Abu Dhabi Golf Club, takes our golf management students as interns during the HSBC Masters to give them tournament experience and the wow factors to enable them to get their first steps on the career ladder. And there's many more besides, just not enough time today to feature them all. Finally though, and it always seems a bit cliché to say it, especially here doing it online, especially here doing it online, but genuinely, if you've got a dream to have a successful career in one of our subject areas, please stick with us. We'll do whatever we can to help you make it happen. Take Anthony Pilkington, for example, a local lad from Darwin in Blackburn, and like Joe Bunny, who I mentioned at the beginning, a former Level 3 football student, a Premier League player with Norwich City and Republic of Ireland International too. Then there's Paul Burgess, a local lad from Blackpool who started out as an apprentice groundsman at Blackpool Football Club, now stadium director at Real Madrid and just being voted the most influential person in the world in sports turf maintenance. Then there's Sam Bradley and Leo Stevens and Rob Musgrave who took the photo, finally getting back into action as the Formula One season restarts. Rob as Lewis Hamilton's number one mechanic and Sam and Leo maintaining Valtteri Bottas' car at the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team. Also desperate to get back in action is Matthew Smith, probably from Brighter Blooms in Walton Dale, one of Britain's top horticulturalists and a gold medal winner at Chelsea for the past five years. In the animal sector, Kelly Wollstonecroft, whose blog you can follow on the British Army website, training mine detection dogs and sniffer dogs in the Middle East. And Sarah Roberts at Bimini Shark Lab in the Bahamas, who's now got her own YouTube wildlife conservation channel, has written a children's book on marine conservation, teaches in schools about environmental sustainability, and has applied to be a Blue Peter presenter. And in equestrianism, three of our recent graduates, 
the youngest Bloodstock editor on the Racing Post, sales and marketing manager at Huntingdon Racecourse, and Natasha in the middle who now works in the Far East for the Hong Kong Jockey Club. So hopefully that has given you a flavour for life at Myasco and what drives us as a college. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning with us here online and hopefully we'll see many of you on campus once Covid rates hopefully start to fall. In the meantime, stay safe and thanks for watching this welcome presentation. We're available now via the live chat function on the website to answer any questions.